Hello friends and welcome you all. So today we are going to discuss about the procedures in FAM. So this we also can say this is an a phases of FAM. So generally there will be three phases. One it will be pre-processing, solution and pro-processing. Okay, so these are the steps. So in the pre-processing, uh, we are going to uh, define the geometrical domain. It means the type of uh, area we are going to define in the geometrical domain. Second one, we are going to discuss about the type of elements and material properties of the elements. So as we know, for any domain, we will be dividing the domain into number of elements in the film. So when you are going to divide or meshing the domain, so you need to select the type of element, whether it may be one dimensional, two dimensional or three dimensional, axisymmetric, etc. type of material uh, and uh, type of element to be chosen. Now the material property. So you need to define the material properties. So some uh, softwares or some uh, process they will be having manual entry or some automated the material properties can be taken. Like if you selected the so and so material, so entire their material properties whatever the Young's modulus, okay, poisons ratio, stress strain, yield stress, all the property it will be given in the input range or sometimes you have to enter from manually. Okay, now there will be geometrical properties of the elements like the parameters of the uh, domain you need to enter uh, through like uh, length, area and so and so different geometrical properties and their parameter you have to enter. Now define the connectivity. So connectivity that indicates the mesh of the model. Like you have the four elements, like how they are connected. Like if it is a quadratic element, like one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five. So this indicates the connectivity. Okay, so generally this will be used uh, when there will be an truss element. So because in the truss element, number of elements are connected together. So the connectivity table or uh, connectivity of the elements are Maybe you can uh, select anything like 1 to 2, 2 to 3. So sometimes you can directly connect from 1 to 3 also. Okay, so how you are uh, generating these connectivities that is most common uh, and uh, most important to be uh, having the knowledge of connectivity also. And whatever the uh, physical constraints. So physical constraints like the inputs, whatever the boundary condition which you are applying to the uh, domain. Okay, for example, if you are having the cantilever beam, so you need to enter the some loading condition. So where loading condition that, that can be considered as a boundary conditions or if it is a cantilever, the one end it will be generally fixed. So that uh, fixed end it will be taken as zero or where there will be uh, no uh, displacement. That's what this input value we can say that that is a boundary condition. If the problem is supposed to be having a temperature so all these constraints can be considered under the boundary conditions and also loading conditions so different loading condition you will have sometimes it may be point load sometimes it may be udl sometimes there may be different uh, combined loads also so like that whatever the physical constraint that have to be input so these things uh, we were going to be having in the pre-processing stage Okay, now in the solution, so in the solution we are going to uh, calculate the unknown values like there may be displacement, okay, so there may be stress sustains, uh, all these uh, can be calculated in the process of solution and also we need to derive the different variables like the reaction forces, stresses, heat flows, okay, so whatever the uh, type of uh, analysis you are doing based upon that there will be process in the solution okay there will be 
like if you are doing the structural analysis you need to get the stresses and the displacements strains okay so all these uh, we will have in the phase of solution now in the post processing so post processing that uh, software it will be having uh, uh, like uh, you will maybe obtain in the form of a graph sometimes in the form of table sometimes in the form of a picture form so whatever post processing we can say that it is an a result okay so whatever the output which is displayed on the screen that will be called as post processing okay so generally if you look at the analysis like uh, ansys software so their output we will get in the form of a, a different color indication in the diagram okay so uh, all these values can be make in a table so there uh, like the temperature it may be how different stresses own stress stresses displacement everything will be plotted in a um, graph or in a table then it can be plotted or it can be printed okay so as we can say that it is an a contain of results okay you can display in any form okay hope this is helpful for you thank you again